What's up everyone, it's Captain Nintendo Dude, also known as CND. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys my retro video game collection. As a wise man once said, let's go. So, I'm only going to be showing you my older systems and games in this video. I'm not going to be showing you guys my Wii and Wii U, only my retro stuff, okay? So, that's just the older stuff, GameCube and down, basically. Alright, so let's we'll start with the oldest one, the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System. That's what started it all, guys. Uh, so, yeah, this thing is completely original, but completely refurbished. has a new pin connector in there. Uh, it works awesome, and I freaking love it. Okay, let's get into the games. So, first, in an awesome Nintendo sleeve, I got the original Super Mario Brothers on NES. And then, in another sleeve, I got Super Mario Bros. 2. These are all working condition. And then look how perfect this cartridge is of Super Mario Bros. 3. This thing is flawless, except for one scratch around this one screw. Now, this is an awesome one I, just, I got recently. This is Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. And it's the collector's edition one. Look at that. You can, like, see the camera and the reflection. Okay, next I got uh, Dr. Mario, and then we got Duck Hunt, just Duck Hunt, and then we got Just World Track Class Meet, and then we have Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt and World Class Track Meet all together, and then we have Super Mario plus Duck Hunt. So I have literally every single version on the NES, check this out, that you can have of Mario Brothers. So we got Mario Brothers Alone, Mario Brothers with Duck Hunt, and then Mario Brothers with the other games. And then we have Duck Hunt and the other one alone. Okay. <laughs> Alright, then we got Excite Bike, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original one, which apparently is a very hard game. I haven't really played too much of it. I got the original Tetris, uh, Xevious or Xevious, something like that. Uh, got this game because they have the 3D version on the eShop for the 3DS. Good old Galaga, Kung Fu, some of these original Nintendo published ones. Then we got this game with this is a TNC Surf Designs. I found this just at a found this at a resale store. So then I got Simon's Quest, <laughs> the uh, soccer game, and then I got Karate Champ. I don't have an Atari, but I got this because it's pretty cool. This is the uh, knockoff version of Donkey Kong. So I'm also going to be showing you literally everything from the old. So I'm going to be showing you guys my handhelds too. Um, the older ones, obviously, DS not included. So, I have an original Game Boy. This thing is a brick, but it is awesome. And I have a whole bunch of games for it, so let's go through them all. I have Space Invaders, Judge Dredd, Maru's Mission. And I got the original Tetris on Game Boy, Kirby's Dream Land in Terrible Condition, uh, Battleship, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, back from the sewers. And then I got a really crappy yellow edition. <laughs> uh, Donkey Kong Land 2, pretty good condition. And then Metroid 2. Okay, so now let's move into the 90s. We got the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, the SNES, or the SNES. I got that a while ago at a uh, summer job I had working at an old video game store. Okay, so let's go through the games. I got, obviously, you gotta have Super Mario World for the Super NES. Uh, the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Donkey Kong Country, you gotta have Donkey Kong Country. Uh, picked this up a while ago, Pilot Wings. If you guys know Pilot Wings Resort for the 3DS. Uh, Mario Paint, but I don't have the accessories, but I do know a store where I can get it at. And then Jurassic Park, so don't have many games. And then I have this Super Game Boy player, which is basically an adapter in which you can take a Game Boy game, put it into here, and then put that into your... Super NES, and then you can play it on the big screen, which is really cool, because I have, like, special borders, too, for lots of the games. So now this is kind of halfway between, but I have this uh, box for the Game Boy Pocket. I don't have it, but I have the box. Yeah. Okay, now I know I'm lacking a lot of games on some of these systems, but it's just because I've been collecting so many systems, I don't have much time to collect games, you know. Okay, so next we got the classic N64. Everyone loves this thing, and just the original colors thing works awesome. Okay, so for N64, we got Super Mario 64, which, by the way, I recently completed this. All 120 stars. That was really hard, but I did it. So 
Star Fox 64, beat that game. Pokemon Stadium 2, awesome gold holographic. Hey you Pikachu, have all the accessories that I'll show you in a second. Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards, best game ever, Yoshi Story. Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, Rayman 2, the Great Escape, Diddy Kong Racing, Clay Fighter 63 and a third. <laughs> Majora's Mask. Collector's Edition. Oh, look at that beauty. Oh, it's so amazing. Jet Force Gamini. Best game ever again. Beetle Adventure Racing. And now we go into like some random games. Uh, Star Wars, Shadows of the Empire, Lego Racers. Again, I'm, I'm serious. Look, look at me. Look at me. I'm serious. Best. This is the best game ever. And if you have to say it, you tell me in the comments. You tell me what a better game is. You tell me. To change my name to Captain Sesame Street Dude. Because Elmo's Number Journey is the best freaking game there is. Then we got random fighter game, random baseball game, random crappy Jeopardy, random really crappy game. Uh, Torok Rage Wars apparently is actually good. Uh, random golf game. Okay. Okay, so handheld for the N64, we have a uh, Game Boy Color, purple, and then I got this like broken Game Boy Color lime green, but whatever, we don't talk about that. Uh, we got Wario Land 3, uh, some Tony Hawk game, uh, Mario Golf, and then Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. This just has like the original stuff in there, and I actually have the manual for that. So that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go into GameCube now. I'm not going to pull that out. That's what's hooked up right there. But anyways, start from the crappy games going up to the good one. We got Egg Mania. It's actually a fun puzzle game. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Uh, Spider-Man 2. Medal of Honor, Rising Sun. Incredible. SpongeBob the Movie. Now this, I'm not kidding. This is my childhood game. Actually, for the Xbox, not for this. But SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom is an amazing platform. If you haven't played it, definitely play. You can probably find it super cheap. Uh, Mega Man Anniversary, Sonic Mega Collection, uh, Billy Hatch and the Giant Egg just finished that game recently, really fun. Uh, Wario World, Mario Golf, Toadstool Tour, Animal Crossing, the original, and Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, and then good old Super Mario Sunshine. Woo! Okay, so now in the era of the GameCube, we had the uh, Game Boy Advanced SP. And I got two Game Boy Advance, which can someone please tell me why this one says Game Boy Advance and this one says for Advanced. It seems completely legit. It, it plays games. It looks like it's the Nintendo console. I don't know why that one says for Advanced. If someone can explain that in the comments, that would be the greatest mystery of my life solved. And then we have a box for the SP. Okay, and we got two boxed games. We got Pokemon Emerald, which is happy with. Uh, Super Mario World, which is Super Mario Advance 2. Uh, speaking of Advance, we got Super Mario Advance, which is Super Mario Bros. 2. And then we got Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Bros. Advance 3. And then Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Advance 4. What? Uh, we got a Pokemon video, which has the original Pokemon on it. Uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, that's the original one of that series. Original, another original one, uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Uh, Donkey Kong Country remake on Advance. And then Legend of Zelda Four Swords. Which is, oh, it's A Link to the Past plus Four Swords. And then I got these awesome e-reader, which you take your Game Boy and you just kind of pop it in there and you pop that in there and then you can read cards, which um, the only thing I have is some Pokemon cards that you can use on this. But yeah. I, so sadly now we're getting out of Nintendo uh, into Sony. We got the original PlayStation. I also picked up not that long ago a PS1, which I cleaned off and this thing looks brand new. So basically, uh, plays PS1 games, same as the PlayStation does, but it's like basically a CD player. Now see, this is one of those consoles I recently got and I have like nothing for. So I have uh, Metal Gear Solid, which I believe this is the first one on PlayStation, tell me if it is or if it isn't in the comments, and then I have Driver uh, 1 and 2, and that's that's it. Uh, next I have a Sega Genesis 16-bit, that's that crazy stuff, that's that, that's that next gen. So you guys know Jacob, right? 
So I got the Sega Genesis from Jacob, and when I got it from him, I got a whole bunch of games with it. So let's just go through that. We got uh, this is uh, Toe Jam and Earl in Panic of Funk Town, which I'm pretty sure was a game that um, really easy to get, kind of like a launch title, I think, when the Genesis came out. We got uh, original Clay Fighters, Taz and the Escape from Mars, uh, Ren and Stimpy, uh, basketball game, football game. A uh, couple Madden and NFL games. Shaq Fu. <laughs> okay, not, enough of the crappy games. We got NBA Jam, Jurassic Park, Echo the Tides of Time. Wait, what? That's a good game? Yes, it's a good game. We got good old Mortal Kombat 3, where it's somehow rated M, even though the blood looks like ketchup. Mmm, and I'm hungry. Uh, Street Fighter 2, Rocket Knight Adventures, a very fun 2D platformer. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Hyperstone Heist, Heist, Heist. I play too much video games. Uh, Sonic Wacky Worlds, uh, knockoff of Mario Paint. Screw you. A boxed version of Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic 3. Sonic 2 which people say is the best game for the sake of Genesis, and then good old original Sonic the Hedgehog, which thank you guys for telling me what not for resale means. It means that this is like what came, it came in the box with the the game, or the system. On to the good old PlayStation 2, and if anybody has a box for the original PlayStation 2, not the slim, you should have totally send it to me because I have the original box for the PlayStation and the PlayStation 3, so that'd be kind of cool if I could get this, you know? A bunch of random crappy games for the PlayStation 2, Test Drive, some suffering M-rated crap, Underground, Need for Speed, Kill Switch, bunch of these jam packs, which were like demos. Key, uh, Crazy Taxi, Guitar Hero, Rock the 80s, Guitar Hero, Legends of Rock, which you should see. I'm, I figured out how to do it with the, uh, the buttons. Uh, Guitar Hero, pretty good at that. Star Hero 2, uh, Simpsons, skateboarding game, Grand Theft Auto, San Andres, and then Vice City, and then 3. And then I got Crash Twin Sanity, which is probably the only game I've completely beaten on PlayStation 2. And now on to this big hunk of junk, the original Xbox, the actual Xbox One. Just kidding, it's not a hunk of junk, I love this thing, I grew up with it, um, same which I did with lots of these consoles. Okay, games for Xbox, I got Rally Sport Racing, Project Gotham Racing, Quantum Redshift, Tetris Worlds, Blinks the Time Sweeper, that's a fun platformer, Pitfall Lost Exposition, another fun platformer, original Spider-Man game, very fun, Dead or Alive 3, Pac-Man World 2, so now this is like the 3D Pac-Man that they're going to have in um, the new Smash Brothers, so that's kind of, that looks like, uh, Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. I love this game. This was like my childhood game. And recently, my childhood Xbox broke, got the red ring, freaked out, and uh, it, this is sad, it basically ate my game. So this is just complete crap. Um, I'm definitely going to rebuy this, though, so I can actually finish that. Uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini, completely 100% this game, because this is my childhood game. Like I said, this game, best ever. Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, the big red one and the original Halo Combat Evolved. Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, so that's it for games, as you can see. So now let's go on to some of the accessories and controllers and stuff and extra consoles. So to be honest, I've had about six original Xboxes in my in my possession before. Um, two of them right now, they work, but the disc trays don't exactly work. I, I'm just going to take you with me as I show you the rest of this. I have a... Uh, a black GameCube completely works. I don't have any cords for it though. So hey, if you want it, uh, this is a random amp. I have an original. This is for the original Xbox. A steering wheel you can plug up for your racing games. Uh, Game Boy Player for the GameCube. Much random RCA cords. And then I got my basket with controllers. I keep about one controller each of the consoles in this top basket, and then extras and stuff in this big basket. So. Obviously, we got our 
NES controller, our Super NES, N64, GameCube, and then I got PlayStation 2 in there, PlayStation 1, Xbox, uh, Genesis, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, this is a mess. I have a whole bunch of extra GameCube controllers. There's my little mini TV, which you can go watch the video of me hooking up the systems to that mini TV. Uh, got a zapper, obviously. This is the, the Hey You Pikachu accessories and everything. Got the mic in there. Uh, duh, 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 duh. More controllers, more controllers. Random cords. I got a plug and play paintball game. And then a plug and play Namco. So I can play the original Pac Man and stuff. Alright, here we go. This is the big old mess I made. <laughs> we got all my whole retro video game collection. Oh, okay, that's it. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a like, favorite it, share it to your friends, and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you know when my new videos are coming out. Don't forget to follow my official Twitter account, at OfficialCND, so you guys can get uh, sneak previews and stuff, or hints of what my next video is going to be. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, best game ever, out.